Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. This is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two run, where we are beating the game on the highest difficulty with only two and two soldiers only. As uh, for the third time we are trying to defend our Avenger, kind of get in, uh, into the rhythm of it, and Commander Saiken, aka myself, is going to lead four of our uh, operatives, so two team, uh, two teams of uh, the size of two, uh, into this mission. However, to our uh, advantage uh, this time, we do have a couple of heavy turrets. Unfortunately, it seems I have forgotten to upgrade defense matrix, which stinks in hindsight. But anyways, we got two additional bodies. Not going to lose any sleep over that. We want to make our way on to the left hand side as far as we can. I will be in position. Edgar Alien Pole takes a very solid position right up front. So he moves together with him, and we got a wild child. Unfortunately, we had no one else left over, so she's going to be our grenadier for this mission. Might as well move a bit further, because there's no one who could spot anything out. Outrider was a bit injured at the beginning, so we want to make sure that she's nicely topped up and not again gets gravely injured specifically at the very beginning when we're not having any any enemies that's one turret down but we taking still a nice little overwatch Watch your and another there. overwatch Let us see whom we're fighting against. Oh, surprise, it is the assassin. Okay, so Chosen will teleport after taking damage. That's really bad. Uh, gains health when nearby enemies are taking damage. That's bad as well. Can summon Sun Lancer. That's bad. Uh, does enter Overwatch uh, on the end of her turn and does not trigger any Overwatch shots herself. So she's pretty beasty. We need to spot her out and effectively get a couple of really good hits onto her. Otherwise, this is going to suck. Once we have killed her, the rest of this mission here will be really, really easy. There's a squad of four. Apparently just triggered. Hard target, minimal damage. Okay. We're going to kill the mech first, then it's going to be uh, the trooper, then the shield bearer, and finally the purifier. Start with the obvious question, what can the non-mobile units hit? It's one hit. Oh, for him it's perfect, he can hit them all. That's really good. Sweet. And once again, the good old <coughs> antivirus scanner. Love it. So, if we were to take an explosion, that'll remove most of their armor, which I think is helpful and will set us up for success. So, I don't see anything wrong with that. I didn't want to move her, she does not have salvo, so 
That's a very solid first action. Let's take the shots with our tower. There is no shame in their defeat. They know nothing of their actions. Let's continue trying to hit the targets that are a little bit more difficult to hit. In this case, uh, the trooper. Unfortunately, missed twice. Going to Lightning Hands kill the Mac. Probably the most important kill. Roby is going to give himself an aid protocol that prompts threat assessment, so he gets overwatch shots. Let's soften up the trooper. Very nice damage. So I'd like to aggressively go in because I think that the uh, Chosen One will appear sooner than later. I know that there's a peck standing right here, so that's known. If we were able to kill this guy here... That would probably be good. We're not going to deal with the... Oh. Maybe we shouldn't say never say never. So how would a kill zone look like? Wouldn't be too bad. I mean, we could take a lot of shots. The question is, are they going to move? Hmm. I think it's worth a try. I am not seeing us kill zoning anytime soon. And the reason why it is worth a try is this guy here can't really do anything. We need to stay in cover, so that's why we're using a Sting here. Nice little damage, and I think we're going to be fine. Oh, come on, Roby. You disappoint me. There's the kill zone. Good job. At least one shot. Come on, what's happening with the rest of uh, the shots? That should trigger kill zone. Apparently it was just out of the reach of kill zone. Too bad because that would have been three hits. And the pack that I really wanted to move hasn't moved at all. There is no place you can run that I cannot reach. Okay. 
Okay, so the chosen one is really, really far away. So much so that in her current position, we can't really hurt her. Partially also because she's behind trees. So I'd say let the Chosen be for one more round and we're going to get this pack with a Burster. Right, we agree to not get the pack with the Berserk. They die as warriors, as great a death this one could hope for. So we're moving ourselves into solid positions. I know that the Overwatch trap here will not really mean much for us. We're going to wait until the Chosen is just a bit closer. Their cannon is primed and ready to fire. This should trigger Overwatch. Nice. Which means they should run into our direction, just generally speaking. And the Berserk being enraged means if it cannot find anyone from our side, it'll just go and enrage right into his allies. Interesting, the Chosen disappeared again. She might as well be behind one of those stones here. I'm at your service. Told you. I doubt there are many among your kind that have not heard tales of the Avengers' daring exploits. We will write the final chapter here today. We've got the Chosen right where we want them. It's time to strike. Yeah, let's try that. Hmm. I would want to deal as much damage to her as possible in one go. So we need to shred her armor. And I think although chain shot is a good idea, just the fact that she has 20 defense makes it very hard to predict that the chain shot is going to hit. So instead, we're counting on bigger booms. And the shredding ability of our grenades. So that's a secure hit. Damage. 
Wait, wait, where is she? Oh, she's back there. Interesting, okay. Let's continue to um, shred her. She can only jump into line of sight. Okay, now she's kind of back behind uh, the pillar here. Interesting. Roby's moving up. And let's continue to injure her. I think I got a piece. She unfortunately dodged, but you can already see that she's now taking a lot of damage. I was hoping we could hit her at least once. Banish would be a perfect opportunity to really deal a lot of damage to her. Fortunately, that's not going to work. So, since we can't do it, and we still need to be the scout, we're just handing over. Nice little damage. Yeah, okay. Apparently the towers don't want to hit her. We've got system failures across the board, Commander. We can't take hits like that. Okay. So I, th I hope if she's not like going crazy next turn we should be able to take her out and then the rest of the mission is relatively straightforward Shogun is a problem because she's summoning, summoning two stun monsters and we need to deal with them Got Ed Galleon pull back. Yeah, 
And we need to deal with the stun lancers first. Directly using aid protocol because we want to make sure Edgallion Poe is not dying. Uh, I wanted to actually heal him. The aid protocol was maybe a bit too much because we're losing the ability to take shots ourselves uh, then. Yeah, realistically, this here is our best chance. Nice damage, by the way. Good job. All right, come on, kill this guy. <laughs> one damage short, one damage short. Hmm. Alright, let's try to kill him nonetheless. Okay, didn't work out. Still have Overwatch with Edgar and Poe, so I'm hoping that that will trigger. This here should trigger Bewildering Wounds. That's 10 and 9 and another 10. So we're looking for straight up 30 ish damage that we dealt to her, and she's poisoned. Banish definitely carried uh, its weight, so it was, uh, it was worth getting unstealth and completely unloading on her. Unfortunately, she had stolen 8 hit points prior to it, so that's why she's still a little bit healthy. So much for our threat assessment. But luckily this guy got uh, killed by one of her towers. Yeah, I could see Harbor Wave. This here could be a kill. She's still poisoned, so there is a good chance that she's going to die. I guess that'll be okay. 
Harbor Wave in itself was not a problem. Because it, all it does is daze people. Humans do share an admirable sense of loyalty, even in the face of certain death. Alright, let's give it a try. We can't deal with overwatch shots anyways. And maybe we can explode the car and kill her that way. Or we can just hit a 10% shot. Either way works for me. Now that she is defeated, the rest should be relatively straightforward. Roby's picking up some nice little loot here. The found scope is okay. We may not have put them down for good, but at the very least we've held off the chosen for another day. Overwatch, reload. Yeah, I don't want to stretch uh, my luck too thin. We're going to invade from next round onwards. The rest of this mission here is pretty straightforward. Unfortunately, we took damage on Edgar Alien Poe. But that was kind of expected with our lack of, of uh, damage in the overall team. We, we really didn't ha have a great way of blocking her. Good. Time to re-stealth. And I fully agree with her statement. Let the hunt begin. Okay. Okay, I think one of our best positions would be either here, really solid cover, or here, but both of them wouldn't spot this pack out, not yet. Always moving a bit closer. This here is a perfect um, kill zone, by the way. I'm going to move over here because I want to have a better kill zone shot. Overwatch, Overwatch, and Overwatch. Next turn, we're going to engage. I know that. We're working on it.
Oh, that's going to be a huge explosion. Okay, so we are going to kill zone this entire space. Um, I want to see whether or not we could. Just very, very shy of um, exploding it. I'm thinking with our chain shot over here we would see the car and could explode it and that's all I care for I'm on it. because once it's once this explodes, the entirety will loosen up. What? Did she just... Oh my gosh. See, normally it's a static hit, 100%. But if you chain shot, there is the chance of not making it. Placement. Damn, I th I was hoping maybe one of the squad side um, turrets could at least see, but that's not the case. So we're going to go back into Overwatch. Finally, kill zone triggers. Let's go, baby. I'm a bit disappointed by the berserk. I was hoping he would quite literally go berserk in his own uh, in his own rows and attack one of his allies. That hadn't been the case. I wish we could have combined exactly this maneuver with a kill zone. Unfortunately, it didn't work out.
Well, let's get some of them at least. All right, come on. Cereal would be the perfect helper. Unfortunately, we don't have cereal. What we can do, though, is we first of all can get Outrider here and Solid 8 Protocol. All of the clones will hurt, like a lot. So we need to make sure that we can kill at least some of them. Hmm. Heading out. Dragonova fully exposed. Okay, we do have a couple of decent targets. This here is probably the best position for Ed Galley and Paul. I, by the way, thought that that here would be cover. Of course, it's not the best position. This here would have been far superior. So we're most likely going to fall back. Well, we would require maximum damage in order to kill this van here. Instead, we're going to take away the Spectre. Berserk can't reach us uh, during this turn. We're going to take an awful lot of damage from all of uh, the uh, codices, but that's to be expected. At least the psionic bomb was uh, stopped right away. So far, they haven't really done anything. Finally, he's going Rampage. I like it. Okay, perfect. It was way mi uh, more mild than I would have expected to begin with. Nice. Solid hit. And even a kill. Good job. The towers are pulling their weight. Heal them up. We are somewhat continuing to heal up everyone. Let's see if we can destroy the second car hand. With the explosion of it, we would have been able to, to completely get rid of the Berserk. All 
Right. Moving a bit back. I need to reload. Reloading. Overwatching. And overwatching. The Berserk should be running right into us. Yep, there we go. Good, and that constitutes two packs, which we have eradicated. Dragonova no longer has stealth, no further ability to to get into stealth. I go where you tell me. So we might as well use normal tactics. We need to speed up a bit. So Roby's moving in. Wild Child is moving in. And for now the majority of our moves should be to reduce our distance to the cannon and just get the cannon out of the way. We're pretty low on consumables. Our grenades are gone. We do, no ha uh, do, do not have any restealth. I think we still have a claymore, right? Yeah. Interestingly enough, the tanks are disappearing after you kill them. So we're really looking at, like, no cover whatsoever. Might as well move all the way up here. And here. I can get there. All right. Roby needs to move as well. Copy that. And Edgar Alien Poe. No need to ask twice. Moves a bit closer as well. Okay. need to speed it up I can see it's going to be closer than I would have expected we know there is another pack with a massive sector pod back there. Moving to position. But if we wouldn't like double move, the mission might be over just due to timing constraints. Our tactic now needs to be to really move up and take a couple of consolidated shots and then we can slow down. Affirmative. All right, Roby. Okay, we have two more turns until the cannon fires again. And I would like to kill it before that happens. If 
effectively giving us unlimited time because the little uh, the little trucks will never beat 120 rounds. I think it's minus one per round. The vast majority of of uh, energy points that you're uh, or durability points that you're losing is from the cannon to begin with. Oh, nice. We could remote start ourselves. No. We need a better spot. Probably something over here. Unfortunately, this is all out of line of sight. Uh, out of range. I don't like the move. Uh, the double move itself is not good. Advent stink is unmistakable. Nice. Very good. Wasn't there a chance to remote start this thing? Am I mistaken? Was there a chance to remote start this thing? Because if there was, it would be effectively dealing... Like this is... Hmm. No, no, I think it was a normal explosion. protocol with threat assessment for Outrider. Okay, so far so good. cover still trying to kill this bad boy here yeah and I figured it would be one hit point and that's exactly why I did the move because I do believe if we're killing this one here that'll deal the most amount of damage like at least three of them will be hit plus we're Stopping the timer. Yeah. See, we dealt 40 enemy. points of damage. That's what I'm talking about. Over, 
or 30 points of damage. Ridiculous amounts of damage. Come on, trigger Overwatch and kill this guy. Good job. Well done, Roby. I love you. Ooh, time to exhale. Ooh. And time to reload. Almost everyone in the team is out of ammunition. We sprinted all the way there. Just to kill these guys. Already one hit point. All right, pretty solid. We do have one more pack, I think. One or two more packs and just a couple of um, tanks or Humvees on the other side. Should be an issue. I just saw that the ground was shaking, so maybe there's a, there is indeed another sector pod. Would be a bit concerning. Let's take the loot. Trusting you here. Okay, so let's move up. I'm on it. I'm on it. Affirmative, covering now. Doing a lot of overwatch traps here, of course, taking it nice and slowly. Okay, they are trying to invade the Sky Ranger or the Avenger. But that's not going to work, guys. That I, I unfortunately can't allow that. Nice little hit. Okay, 75% chance to hit, and he's still missing. On the move. I can cover it. Okay. On Overwatch. Operative covering now. Seems we're slowly but surely getting there. <laughs> okay, they are trying to take out the towers, so I don't like it. Just another sector board pack. The side. 
All right, all right. I'm just imagining the situation where, like, the stun lancer runs into an automatic tower, a turret, which continues firing, and both just continuously miss one another. It's the pinnacle of clown fiesta, I suppose. of damage, very solid starter. Yeah, we got a couple of other good prospects. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to use our advanced teamwork. Edgar moves up. We're doing a solid face-off. Yeah, I probably should have uh, weakened the armor first, the others. It was a small mistake. Edgar is most fragile, so we're going to aid protocol him. He also gets um, threat assessment. All right, that worked out pretty well. And let's see if we can kill the shield bearer. We at least poisoned him. Yep, and there is the kill. So used a couple of cooldowns and at the end almost the entire pack went down. Soldiers to feel the strain of combat eventually. We just have to give them enough time to recover properly. Okay, so Roby moves up. Let's hunker down. Overwatch here. 
One tower is down, unfortunately. And another Overwatch. Okay, I think we only have one more pack. Yeah, plus this clown here, of course. Okay, I might not insult him because he kind of single-handedly is starting to destroy all of the towers. Yeah, and that's out of out of vision range, unfortunately. On your order. Overwatch. Let's rock. Scanning. Yeah, he might even get the other tower, to be honest. If he hits for maximum damage, he kills it. <laughs> yeah, good job. Well, he's still a clown. He can't. Uh, he can't lose that. Give me time to reload. Moving out. Yeah, exactly what you would like to see when you're pulling a pack. We are definitely going to kill zone. Uh, this. I like the idea of single-handedly killing some of them. Okay, good, good start. Right. Continues to be a good start. A protocol on Roby because he has Guardian and therefore can take multiple shots. So he has now threat assessment. And we're going to see if we can kill them with reaction shots. So let's see how this plays out. Alright, Roby executed. By the way, kill zone missed the first shot. That one hit was a hit. And that's a solid hit as well. Well, they decided that they don't want to fight anymore. Moving is ordered. Very solid hit. What's over there? All right, reload. And we can take it slow. I'm not opposed to just overwatching. With Roby and Edgar Alien, the clown is still on his way, making his rounds, and eventually he will pop up somewhere. Moving to position. Very nice.
Okay, one overwatch. Just to make sure we got it under control. And there is the clown. There is the overwatch, and thank you, Roby. He's ready with Guardian, he could even take another shot. Give me a minute. Doesn't give a fuck whether the mission is over or not. Roby is ready. Good, I think that was it. We've destroyed all of the enemy siege emplacements. Excellent work, Commander. We've cleared the threat, Commander, but the Avenger has taken a serious beating in the process. We need to Definitely a bit more difficult than I would have expected. We were at times a bit behind uh, the the expected speed. I think the last two or three rounds before we um, could uh, could um, kill the large gun, they were a bit critical. The rest, however, was I feel overall quite fine about how that had been played out. We still had two more healing charges, group heal left, another claymore. Yeah, and cooldowns were also available, we so I think it's fine. Off the Avenger for now, Commander, but I'm sure they'll be back. We need to keep working with the factions to track their position. The sooner we take them out, the better. Not sure why exactly we only saw three. Yeah, well, we got we got some hard. Uh, breaks here. Um, both Edgar and Poe and Outrider will be in uh, in the hospital. Bond training, however, for Zirkin and Renman is almost done. Yeah, and Roby and Hawkbite are also out of action. It was a harsh month. Pretty long, daring month. But I think overall we managed fine. There's the Serpent Armor. We got Bond level 3. Unfortunately, we can't increase the Bond of uh, the of Hawkbite and Roby yet. So, Bond level 3 on Zirkim and Brandon. And we need one more improvement for Roby and Hawkbite. And then we're at maximum Bond level as well. Really nice. I like it. Engineering wise, I think we could upgrade the Serpent Armor. We're just requiring more supplies to enhance it. And that should be number one priority because the armor is really, really, really good. Applying to the black market. Avenger plotting new course. Open. Having some extra stun lances here. We might be able to just sell a few of these here as a trade off. Okay, that solves our money issues. Savor your victory, but there are no assurances of a future for any of us. So just from a GTS perspective, we have everything purchased short of uh, the squad side. So that's good. We have all of the weapon upgraded, the short of the ones that we don't need. Well, maybe the fusion blade is actually quite good and the Mark III Gremlin is also respectable if we ever want to use uh, enemy protocol. So let's get the armor upgraded. And I think the instant Gremlin 3 upgrade also makes sense. We're still fine. In terms of proving grounds, I mean, there are a lot of good things. We don't need another um, Wrath suit. Um, we 
Don't need the bolt caster or the frost bomb. A war suit might be helpful. Advanced explosives is definitely could help. Uh, the only thing that I would really see are advanced explosives, just to improve the other grenades a bit. But that's more for a larger group, not necessarily for the two-man run. So for now, I would just save. You know what's okay. Let's get it. Good, Maybe I find myself wanting to use another grenade, and then I would regret not having it upgraded. Plotting new course. There we go. A lot happened this month, and 414 is great. So she's going to attempt to sabotage. He's still not. He's still not uh, right at the uh, level to attack the uh, Avenger. That's good. All battered conditions are removed at, uh, at the end of the turn. This year, Mental Fortitude is super good. Thank you for having it. Um, so that piece definitely will help us out. One of the strongest um, buffs that you could uh, aim for. The rest is okay, and we're going to Avenger plotting new course. And we're going to get some money. I suppose since that worked, we might as well keep it up. Commander. Look at that. Dodge plus seven. Nice little cohesion. The superior laser sight is okay. Probably not the best thing that could have happened. But let's see. Stronghold and will. This is not bad, specifically in combination with aim. I think we're going to do um, this with Roby and Hogbite. Mobility plus one is good. Aim plus two is okay. This is probably something that we should do for the actual reduction of the avatar process, uh, progress. Hacking, hacking. Aim plus four is good. So I'm thinking about taking aim plus uh, three first and foremost. And then the reduction here isn't bad either. I am um, yep. This here might be a thing as well. Ability points uh, points increase isn't bad for Roby. Roby is tired, however, for seven more days, so we need to find something that we can do beforehand. Mobility plus one is good. I like it. Promotion. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, realistically speaking, we would put Hogbite onto it again, since Roby is currently tired. And this is what we want to do with both of them. For Hogbite, it's mobility or dodge. Aim is okay, but definitely nothing to write home about. Hit points would be fine as well. But... 
since it's only mobility available for him. Might as well take this and this and put Hogbite in here because plus one mobility is very, very good. We want to uh, let him move across the entire battlefield. So that's what we're going to do during the next 10 days. Thank you. Next up, I was wondering, why is the Matrix not upgraded? Oh, we were short on cash. Okay, that's not going to happen again. We are definitely upgrading the Matrix. Four turrets are so much better than two. Good. As with our supplies... Wait, Dragonova just returned. If Dragonova returned, next thing that we want to do is let's remove her negative traits because she was a bit worried after the last couple of missions. She had, I think, the uh, fear, uh, fear of um, fear of archons, so we're going to remove that. Installing a radio relay here will help us to reduce the entire uh, cost of contact. Plus, we're going to raid the alien facility very, very soon. Four more days wounded. Yeah, we might we might wait until both of them are back. Getting the negative trait removed isn't the worst uh, idea. It is just as I had hoped, Commander. Super good. We just got an additional uh, slot on all of our uh, normal assault rifles, which is perfect. Like the, the stun launcher stun autopsy. I'm pleased with the research advances we've made so far, but there's still so. Another important step forward in our research. Some of the research All might inspire us. The there we go. Vector rifles. Uh, with another module, yeah, additional upgrade slot, that would be helpful. So all of uh, all of the uh, autopsies are now triggering a chance for uh, for breakthroughs. Later in the game, the higher the chance that you are getting a breakthrough that you haven't uh, gotten beforehand. Yeah, and we got six more days. Radio, radio relay is installed, which means we're making contact for only 80 intel. And that'll give us the double agent bonus, allowing us to get uh, an advent soldier. Undercover civilians present in the combat zone can be contacted to gain valuable rewards. Okay. Sure. Sure. Okay. This is, I think, where we are stopping for today. Thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed uh, playing the mission, and we're continuing with the supply rate the next time that I'm playing. I like where the run is going. The last two missions, one was very hard, the other one, um, yeah, was difficult but doable. This one here is probably going to be very hard again. And Renman and Roby, uh, Renman and um, Sirkim will get a chance to, to do the mission. So if you like what you've seen, thumbs up, a little comment down below, and tell me uh, if, what could be improved uh, with the videos. Elsewise, we're going to see each other in the next mission. So until then, see you later. Bye bye.